We sat silently in front of screens, watching. It's a shocking video there. You could hear the gunfire. Hearing. Even feeling emotions. I believe he was a student on the campus. As the Virginia Tech shooting unfolded before our eyes. We see in the media that stuff does unfortunately happen. So for me, I just wanted to not be, uh, feel helpless. Preparing for these worst case scenarios is why students like Gehring attended the violence incident training course. For the past two years, the course has taught students their options mm -hmm. and what they can do in a violent incident. These options come from the five principles of Alice, alert, lock down, inform, counter, and evacuate. What are you going to think? In a violent situation, evacuating the building is often the first reaction. But police say this isn't always the best choice. Let's time it and see how long it takes to get out of the building. From the third floor, it took me nearly two minutes to get out of the building. During that trip, I could again be exposed to the shooter or cause confusion for police officers. For these reasons, the class uses hands-on training to teach the other important principles before evacuating. The greatest strength is numbers. You know, if, a, if one shooter can go in, like it happened in Virginia Tech, and kill 30 people and injure another 20, it's just one shooter. So I think it's important for students to realize that as a collective, that's kind of the way, that's, that's how a lot of these strategies work. But to sustain these strategies, POP ultimately helps to prepare a larger pool of students. I would definitely like to see more. They, they do understand it. It's just getting to that point of actually talking to them.